Good day to the PCGS family. This month, November, we celebrated Thanksgiving. And I think we all had a good time spending Thanksgiving yesterday with our family, friends, and the people close to us. Isaiah 12, 4 to 6 says, And on that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord. Call on His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Make them remember that His name is exalted. Praise the Lord in song, for He has done glorious things. Let this be known throughout the earth. Rejoice and shout for joy, you inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. May we all remember to celebrate all the blessings and give thanks to God for all the things that we have experienced in our lives. May we learn to appreciate the good and the bad times. A time to help us be humble and thank Him even in our difficult situations. May we not forget to also thank Him in every single day and not just during Thanksgiving. May we sing praises to Him, worship Him in spirit and in truth, and be a testimony to the people around us. So let us sing this song, Thank You Lord, by Don Moen. One thing that I want to say Thank you, Lord Thank you, Lord For all you've given to me For all the blessings that I can Bless your name.
thank you, Lord. For all you've done in our lives, we want to say thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we do. Oh, we want to say thank you, Lord. Yes, we do. Feeling and expressing our appreciation is good for each one of us. God wants us to learn to be thankful for all the things and blessings He has given to us. Without expressing our gratitude, sometimes we take everything He has given to us for granted, and we become arrogant and self-centered and think that we have achieved everything on our own without God. However, we need to put it in our hearts that everything we have are given by the giver himself. It says in Psalm 9, 1-2, I will give thanks to you, Lord, with all my heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. I will be glad and rejoice in you. I will sing the praises of your name, O Most High. And 2 Corinthians 8, 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. Jesus, who is rich and secure in the glory of heaven, willingly became poor when he became a man and entered into this world. He gave his life for the sins of humanity so that we sinners could be forgiven for our sins and experience the grace of God and live in the glory of God. Let us sing this song, Give Thanks by Don Moen, and express our appreciation and gratitude to God with all our hearts.
Just yesterday, we celebrated Thanksgiving Day. It is a shame that we have only one day set aside each year to give thanks to God as a nation. We should have some time set aside each day to give our praise to Him, who has blessed us so richly. Psalm 103 verses 1 to 2 says, Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Psalm 103 is a prayer of nothing but praise to God. There is no supplication, no request, no petition or plea in this prayer. It is pure, unadulterated praise to God. David was awestruck with God's blessings. We are not told the circumstances in which David received this psalm, but it is not difficult to imagine how it happened. Looking at his life, counting his blessings, instead of complaining about his burdens, it dawned upon David just how much God had done for him. He realized how God had been and how undeserving he was of all these blessings, springing up from the depths of his heart and gushing out onto the, this parchment came this prayer of praise, this benediction expressing his gratitude toward the Lord. David was serious about praising the Lord. It wasn't something he only did at the temple during religious ceremonies. It was part of his everyday experience. He was grateful to the Lord and he could not help but praise him. Likewise with us, Despite these dark times we are going through, we need to spend some time giving praise to our Lord for all these blessings He had showered upon us. For sure, there are still so many things to be thankful for. We should be thankful that we are still alive. Give thanks to the Lord for we still have food on the table. And be thankful that we still have a roof above our heads. Here are four points about thanksgiving. Be honest. Don't be a phony. Don't put on an act. Be grateful. There is nothing that encourages praise like gratitude. 
have a thankful heart. Be natural. Praise God in a way that is natural for you. Lastly, be consistent. Make it part of your everyday experience. Psalm 103, verse 1 to 2. Praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Good morning, everybody. Um, have a happy chapel hour today. And So, to start off, how was your day so far? If it's going great, I'm glad to hear that, you know. And if not, God is always there to provide for you. Always remember that. So to start for our for my sharing today, the passage will be located in Psalm 103, verses 1 to 4. And the verse go and the passage goes by. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul. And forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. So in this verse, it shows that God provides and that he is there to protect you from sicknesses and gives you blessings without even asking him to, you know. And it's all because he knows what's the best for you. I'm saying that based on my experiences, but even even though you're just at home all day long due to the pandemic, I consider this as a blessing because God has always been there to reach out to me when I tend to do things on my own or like I don't like pay much attention. Even though I don't pay much attention to him, he's the one reaching out to me. Like he's not even asking anything in return. He's just asking for my attention. Spend one on one time with him. Like he's always there just watching over us, you know? So. I always thank God for this and that he always finds a way to get our attention that even though we didn't know what to do at that spur of the moment, he's always there when we need his attention the most because it usually saves us or like prevents us from hurting ourselves even more. He's always there to provide and just his grace is enough to keep us sane or like helps us know that we are reassured and that we know what, what is right and what we have to do in verse 4 it says that he who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion these words are enough to know that god has been there with us from the very very start and will always be there to stay with us it's like this verse alone in the whole passage is enough already to let us know that we have god on our side and that Nothing can overthrow our faith with him that God, since he is all-knowing, omnipotent, om omnipresent, and he's, he's superior over us and that we have someone, we have a friend that we can count on that no matter whatever the circumstance is, we sh should know that we are safe and reassured because God is always there watching over us and being there with us every step of the way. See you guys. The holiday season is a wonderful time to take a few moments to reflect on the gifts you've received, the people you love and cherish, and the opportunities you've been given in life. My favorite holidays are Christmas, Thanksgiving, and New Year. The reds, golds, and oranges of colors brings back great memories of my life, rather than the chaos that sometimes surrounds Christmas and Thanksgiving. These attract me to quieter moments of meditation and a stronger sense of connection with family and friends. The gift of gratitude can heal the impacts of chaos and suffering when we thank God in the midst of our problems. Gratitude fills in the gaps left by sadness and shows us why we should continue to hope. For the most part, Thanksgiving will be different this year, yet for others, it may remain the same. Wherever you are, this Thanksgiving, I wish that you and your family are overflowing with gratitude, which will heal your heart, heal your soul, and give you fresh reasons to hope. So since Christmas is near, the root of the word Christmas is Christ, God's gift to us. 
the act of humility in which he gave his life is a gift to everyone. It symbolizes God's care, sacrifice, and love for His creation. Yet, it is important not to forget the greatest gift we have received. Christ is the gift that outlives any toy or candle or device. You are invited to open this gift. It is waiting to be unwrapped and welcomed. Psalm 118 verse 24 This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 107 verse 1 Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for, he, for His steadfast love endures forever. So I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and a happy Christmas. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Athena and I'm going to be one of the representatives sharing for today's student hour. So, gratitude is important. If you simply give thanks to the small things you are grateful for, it makes you positive. Because despite everything that's currently happening, you're still grateful. Now, for me, I haven't been feeling like myself lately. What I'm about to share now took me weeks to finally be able to have something to say. The past few days, I've lost motivation. I felt lazy, I felt so much pressure on me, and I didn't even understand why. It felt like I just kept on disappointing everyone around me. It felt like my heart was carrying so much weight. So just when I needed saving the most, um, I stumbled upon a scripture verse. It states in Psalms 42.11 that, Why my soul are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise Him, my Savior and my God. This verse reminded me that no matter the circumstance, we should always remember that God is present. He will always guide us, just never forget to seek His presence. And I get it. I understand how sometimes it can be extremely difficult to not even question why God is allowing all these trials to happen. But I do hope that you will find it in you to reach out to God because He's our Savior. Being vulnerable doesn't make you weak. In fact, it allows you to learn to let others in. Trust me, when you're at your lowest, you're going to need someone who's willing. Especially with what we are all facing right now, which is the pandemic. It feels like we're trapped at our own home, and it can get suffocating. Allow yourself to live. Stop entertaining all these negative energy that you think you are surrounded in, because that's not going to help you at all. It won't help you appreciate what you already have, but rather despise them. We all must learn to appreciate every little thing God has given us. It can be our friends, our dog, or even simply having another chance to live. Just imagine how easier it would have been if you were just a little more grateful. And now I'll close with the scripture verse, which is Philippians 4.6. That states, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. I hope you all were able to learn something from me. Thank you so much for your time, and thank you for listening. Thanksgiving Observance Count your blessings instead of your crosses. Count your gains instead of your losses. Count your joys instead of your woes. Count your friends instead of your foes. Count your smiles instead of your tears. Count your courage instead of your fears. Count your full years instead of your lean. Count your kind deeds instead of your mean. Count your health instead of your wealth. Count on God instead of yourself. It's a simple poem, but it gives a lot of things to ponder. As you heard the poem, always look at the positive and bright side of our lives. We may experience or think about those situations where we were at our worst, but that doesn't mean that we should focus on those too much. Instead, look upon those things that matter and use them to grow in all aspects of our lives. Remember every line of the poem, especially the last one. Count on God instead of yourself. May we ponder upon that line and put it into our hearts mind and soul. 
Remember, aside from Thanksgiving Day, let us all remind ourselves to give thanks to God every single day. There are a lot of them that we should thank for in our lives. Let us come to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given to us students to be reminded about giving thanks to you, O God. Lord, we pray that we would be able to remember what each of the students have shared regarding Thanksgiving. We hope and pray that we would all be able to ponder upon those lessons and be able to apply it in our lives, O God. Lord, we would like to thank you for all the blessings, all the things that you have given and showered upon each and every one of us here in PCGS. Every situation, may it be good or bad, we thank you for you have been there for us. All our needs, you have provided them. Our health, most importantly, O oh God, we thank you for you have protected us and kept us safe, especially with the situation right now. We thank you, O oh God, for everything. May you continue to guide us and be with us, O oh God. Thank you for this chapel time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. May we listen to the song, Thank You for Loving Me by Tommy Walker as we end this chapel time. Again, let us all remember to give thanks to God for everything. Have a blessed day. What love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called His sons and daughters, precious in His sight. Greater love this world had never seen. When He hung on that tree, oh why would He do such a thing? For dirty sinners like you and me, oh God, thank you for loving me. When on the cross you made history, Lord, you died for me forever. My praise will go to thee, oh God. Thank you for choosing me To be your child and bear your name Oh Jesus, I will never cease To sing your praise Your love is patient and humble and kind It's greater than all Protects and trusts and hopes and will have no end. It's your love. Set my feet on a solid rock with a firm place to stand. Lord, I always will trust in your loving hand. Oh God, my God. Thank you for loving me When on the cross you made me story Lord, you died for me forever My praise will go to thee, oh God Thank you for choosing me To be a child
Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me. Oh, thank you for loving me. Come on, everybody, let's sing that song. Thank you for loving me. That's right, sing it to me. Thank you for loving me. Oh, we thank you for your love, Lord. Thank you for loving me. That's right, let him love you, let him touch you right now. Oh, thank you for loving me. Oh, through all the darkness, through all my sin, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Oh, through all my doubts, Lord. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me.